Nobody ever knew that my uncle was here on December 7th, 2020. An Antioch family demanding justice for a loved one who was killed in a hit and run crash two years ago. The 11 o'clock news on KTVU Fox 2 starts now. Today marks two years since a motorcyclist from Antioch was struck and killed by a hit and run driver. Hello again, everyone. I'm Julie Haynes. And I'm Mike Meebeck. No arrests have been made. And tonight his family is sharing their sadness as well as their frustration. New at 11, KTVU's Amber Lee joins us live here in studio with the story. Amber. Mike, I met with the victim's niece at the scene of the crash. She tells me her uncle lived with her in Antioch and was in Oakland visiting relatives when he was killed. She says he meant the world to his family. When I used to get sad, he say, no pain, shake it off. So I got no pain here. Shalina Mosby tells me she is in pain as she shows me the stole she had made in memory of the uncle who raised her, Richard Wiltz of Antioch. On this day, the second anniversary of his death, she returns to the intersection in West Oakland where the 48-year-old was struck and killed by a hit-and-run driver. I love my uncle so much. I miss him so, 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 so much. On December 7, 2020, shortly after 5 p.m., Wiltz was riding his motorcycle after delivering groceries to relatives in the area. A purple BMW crashes into Wiltz at 24th and Market Streets. Mosby says witnesses told her a male driver got out of the car, made a phone call, and fled the scene when someone came by to pick him up. How you go to sleep at night knowing that you killed somebody? It's one thing to say, okay, I hit him. Possibly no, like, did he make it? Police say the BMW was not stolen, but did not explain why a driver hasn't been identified and arrested. Police say they are continuing to investigate this case and they have some leads, but nothing that identifies the person or people responsible for the crime. They're asking anyone with video or information about this case to contact police. His body landed against this building here. Mosby says not having answers after two years compounds her grief. Thomas' life, his life didn't matter. He didn't matter. My uncle's was everything to me. He's very important to me. He was like a dad to me. Mosby tells me she will continue to contact the police and the DA's office until the driver responsible for killing her uncle is identified, arrested, and convicted. She says her uncle deserves justice. Julie, Mike. Yeah. Hopefully your story can jog some memories and lead to whoever did this. Amber, thank you. Yeah.